AIN TV is brought to you by Rolls Royce. The F 35 Lightning II Stealth Fighter made a big step towards making its long awaited debuts at the Riyadh and Farnborough shows in England when three F 35B jets crossed the Atlantic on June 29th. The F 35Bs, which feature short takeoff and landing capability, flew from the U.S. Marine Base in Beaufort in South Carolina to the Royal Air Force Base at Fairford in Southern England. So our main focus of effort is supporting the UK's introduction and service of the F-35B. Uh, we've had an opportunity in the United States Marine Corps to operate this airplane for several years now, and the UK has been our partner in that endeavor. Uh, they've been embedded here at uh, BMF AT-501. They've been embedded out at Edwards Air Force Base in the operational test realm with 17 Squadron, and they're getting ready to stand up here at Buford 617 Squadron in the next year or so. Uh, and this is an important partnership between us and the UK as we move forward. So uh, the Marine Corps is helping that process to introduce this airplane to the public and to really the international community for that matter by taking it over to both the Royal International Air Tattoo and to the Farnborough International Airship. The transatlantic crossing was a carefully planned operation. It involved in-flight refueling on the way. For many in the UK, which is a key F-35 partner nation, this will be their first chance to see the aircraft. It's incredibly exciting. I mean, it's, uh, I've, I've read about the Farnborough Air Show and, uh, and the Riyadh Air Show for years uh, as a, a, you know, an aviation enthusiast, and, and now they have the opportunity to go out there, over there and actually participate in it. And it's not just that event. I mean, there's other events that are associated with this. There's the public outreach events we're going to do. Uh, there's a flyover of uh, the Royal Air Force Base at Marham, which is the initial operating location for F-35s in the UK. And then we're going to also fly over the uh, aircraft carrier, the Queen Elizabeth, which is the brand new ship that they're going to commission here in the next few years, uh, that we're going to have an opportunity to show it off to the folks in Scotland and to, that, to the Royal Navy side of the house. So our opportunity to go over there and, and show that off and show what not only the Marine Corps can do, but what a Marine Corps UK contingent together can do, uh, I think is incredibly important. 